Hello there everybody and now welcome back to more Mario Party the top 100 In the last video we actually cleared up all the special in the game I really outdone it Also I find Rudy myself in the food catalog Which is oh boy I finally could redeem myself. I'm so happy. That's that's the thing. Okay, guys. So before we actually go through the mode that we're supposed to go, it's gonna be me game my land. And as I mentioned before, this is gonna be the final part of my um walkthrough on Mario Party Top 100. Even though I kind of say that it clearly um it's gonna be more stuff to do, but the thing is um it's gonna be just not so much unlockable that I could show right now. And yeah. I kind of say that um, maybe I'm gonna do um, more of the game later. I kind of guess that I really, really want to finish off this game first because there's some game I want to play and try to finish um, too. And yeah, just want to get this done. Anywho, so before we actually go to the Mini Man Land, I wanted to go show you guys the collection mode. So this is actually the only mode I didn't really show for the first time. This mode, if you actually go here, you can actually see the see the guy, we see the item, you can play a mini game match, and, or you can actually listen to the music if you kind of want to. Anyway, see the guy is where you actually know how do you know the origin of each Mario Party game. So you got like the first very first Mario Party game, something like that. And you can actually see which the you know the year they actually released to, which is it's quite cool. I kinda like, you know, just see the archive with which is kinda cool, I know. Yeah, something like that. So yeah, we're gonna yeah, there's actually two pages because um we have ten Mario Party games at total on the console version. And yeah, something like that. And as I mentioned before, um, if you guys know, I actually um, the Mario Party I actually play um, in general, I actually play Mario Party 8 and Mario Party 9 or both Wii version I actually play. And I also actually play like a virtual, I mean kind of like the PC port in Mario Party 2 and Mario Party 3. The rest of them never tried before, but kind of like um, I kind of see how cool it was and I really wish I could play it. I mean sometimes I wish that if they actually do an eShop of the virtual console in Switch please e um, eShop the Mario Party in GameCube series or you know something like that because I really want to play the GameCube version I know the GameCube version is probably one of the you know the most booming point of Mario Party series I mean you guys will say they even actually um, released the year almost in the same time like you know 2002 um, season 3, season 4, and then 2005. Yeah, it's really cool. I really um, wish I could have a such chance to play Mario Party game in GameCube version. I really hope. Also, you can actually see this point of character that you can, um, you know, the character that only appear in each Mario Party game or actually have a, um, you know, really much bigger role. We got like the Minion Star from Mario Party 3. Um, Tumbo, also from Mario Party 3, the Star Spirit, but those Star Spirit also actually appear in Paper Mario game too, apparently, so yeah, something like that. And we got Brother and Twyla from Mario Party 6, and we got, um, I kinda, kinda say that recently, the recent Nintendo game, they not really think, um, they want to bring Toast World anymore, I don't know why, but I know, it's kinda like he, or happening a major Mario Party 7, and... Yep, the those two guys that I indeed um you know the time I read crazy Mario Party Egg, yep, you guys see him. <laughs> and yeah, I mean there's some cool character, but I think it doesn't actually include that much. I know the small character, but oh well. I mean this game you can actually do more of them, which is um yeah, it's kinda say that there are more stuff you can do. And also you can actually see which item can make in each on you know me game I, I mean me game match. We got like, you know, I mean, a lot of items here, they actually, um, you know, kind of reuse some Star Rush, but they indeed actually have some new item you can, um, that introduce, I mean, introduce you to, like, you know, Lucky Card, the Mega Fly Guy, that actually the same Mega Fly Guy in Mar um, Mega Sure Marathon, um, the Swap Card, we got the Boo Bell, I think also this in Star Rush too, but the new is kind of like a Genie Lamb, we got a Sham Call, and the Return of Bowser Suit, yep. Kind of thing though that would actually play mini game match recently. I didn't actually show all the item, but maybe some point after I actually finish up this um, walkthrough, I may gonna play like some game with this game later. I mean, I still maybe try to interest in this game sometime later, but yeah, I may think about it later because um, you know, the last um, unlockable I get is gonna be probably the reason why I decide to do this. Like, I'm gonna end this right now. This is not gonna be the final part of this um, you know, walkthrough. Yeah. 
All right, there's some very cool item here, which is um, I hope I could show more. And the best part, you can actually listen to music in the Mario game, like you know, kind of the music from the menu, some stuff. Or you can actually um, listen the game music, like um, yeah, like this music from Mario Party. I mean, remaster from Mario Party. Yeah. Da 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 da. Da, 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 da. And yeah, I mean, wow, I didn't really have more party music here. Yeah, I know. So yeah, there's a lot of music can play, and I kind of like how they actually um, told which mini game they actually use on each um, which music they use for which one from which mini game. It's quite cool. I kind of like it. Yeah, you know, which is um, cool. I, I I'm sorry, I kind of like lost the word a little bit, but anywho, that seems to me the game I music I want to do, and there's actually some unlockable music that I will gonna get. After I actually beat the, you know, the final area of the minigame I'm in. And which one I want you to see? Oh, this one. This is actually my favorite, but I would say that um, Dreaming wasn't that good. I kind of like the most, um, Dream, I mean, original one, like, had more sense. I kind of like it, yeah. Okay, um, let's see. Okay, this one is cool. I love this music, but my god, dick hand. Oh boy, I still remember the time I tried to get 100% Freaking had to play like almost 10 times, I swear to god, you know it, right? Okay, this is the best part that I kinda like, you guys never know before Yeah, I mean, because how they kind of like made minigame a bit shorter, they kind of missed the good part and i glad that I actually included this, um, you know, music section in this series too, which is so good. You can actually listen to music you want, which is very really nice. Okay, this one is good too, I like this one. I kind of like this one more than the original one too, because yeah, it's good. But my god, freaking game. <sighs> okay. Yeah, I mean, sadly Mario Party 8 this doesn't actually have much, even though I love uh, a lot of music in Mario Party 8, I, I love the soundtrack, but you know, because I'm up there, you know, kind of center control, yeah, I kind of know what exactly mean. Okay. And yeah, this is really good, love it. And you can actually listen to music from the Mickey Game Island if you really want, and whoa, I didn't realize I actually didn't get um, on music before, okay. I know before, but anyway. And then Mini Game Match, um, thing with Jake too, which is really cool, uh-huh. Yeah, I mean, kind of like how they actually include all the soundtrack too, which is really nice. I like it so much. I mean, yeah, you can actually go and just listen to music anytime you want. I mean, I kind of know that in the top internet also have something cool. I mean, the music actually does, you know, look for like half an hour already. But I guess, you know, listen to music in-game in, in kind of good too, you know? Something like that. Oh, you know, let's listen to music. I mean... Um, I wanted to show you guys one of the, you know, kind of like the soundtrack that they actually go um, deeper in the game. They have the best one. Okay, this one. Yeah, I, I mean, because of the main game that use the music is so freaking, you know, quick, you kind of like miss out that part and I think, I mean, I'm so glad that, that they actually, I mean, mentioned before that they include this mode that you can actually um, listen to music so truly, like, you know, which is really nice, I like it, I mean, yeah, I kind of guess why the aspect doesn't have much because my god, there's a lot of music they actually have to put in, <laughs> I mean, I could understand, but sometimes I really don't want to, you know, okay, this one too, I mean, this one is very nice music.
Yeah, I mean, the, the last part you will probably never gonna know unless you actually have to listen this mode. I, I can say right now. Alright, um, we're gonna done with this right now. I kinda guess maybe if I actually have enough time, we can actually listen to some good music before we actually wrap up this walkthrough. And I kinda can't wait about it. Anywho, so let's go to Minigame Man. We actually have something left to do. Let's continue from the um, previous one and we're gonna finish off this game and, you know, finish off the walkthrough too. Can't wait, wait guys. In case you guys already know, I will show you guys right here. Um, yep. In case you guys know, all the mini game so far, um, but the last mini game, we actually got all of them full star. I mean, sometimes it's three to four star, but yeah, did we actually get it done right? Yeah, I know. And whoa, what? <laughs> okay, I swear to God, you guys see Guma just actually freeze around. What? Um, yeah, this is really weird. I mean, no freaking shit, but yeah. Yep, you guys see on the mini game, they all clear done, looking good. Yeah, I kind of want to, you know, to see how the beginning to the end, which is I really like. Uh huh. So yeah. Hi, DK. Man, sadly because the only comic game is exists in in this game. I mean, I mean, it's just in general, and they want to remaster that one. Yeah, kind of cost them not being playable, unfortunately. I may talk about the thought later when they actually go to the credits, so I will definitely will show guys that for sure. Yeah, getting good. Uh huh. Yeah, we did really well. Uh huh. Yeah, this mode, even though summer game is kind of pain in the butt to actually clear and get it right, we still damn it, which is really cool. I mean, yeah, summer game almost control, no thing shit, and you just actually pay off camera, and yeah, something like that. Yep, we actually see a lot. Uh huh. And uh, and once again, Kubutu, I mean not Kubutu, but Goomba actually got free some known reason. I don't know why. Yeah, Kyla don't really ask about that much. <laughs> All right. And there's another area that I actually do very well. I mean, Kubutu doesn't actually get um you know frost over, but why the heck did um Goomba get frost over for no reason? I know why, but oh well. And oh boy, this mini game is a hell in order to get one hundred percent. Like really, I know there's still some other mini game that is kind of hard to actually beat. Um, in order to actually claim one hundred percent, I mentioned before, and it's not been fun. Yeah, Wonder Master Two, another mini game that maybe have to pick off camera because um, playing this um on camera isn't the best. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, some of the game I actually did very well, even though some of them I need to play. Yep, I go boom, still remember. Yep, still remember I did move around 3 life with, with, um, for the attempt to actually go through, which is, oh man, didn't know that before. So I sure that's kind of easy, yeah, unless you're being idiot. And another reason, for known reason, the most stupid reason that they just want to include Toad in this, um, you know, one opponent here. Or like the throwback in Mario Party, I mean the original one, or Soccer Derby. Also caused Toad to not become a playable character in this game. It's kind of stupid. I mean, there's a lot of Toad Pal in the game. I kind of no noticed in Mario Party 10. They actually using some of the, you know, um, you know, different palette Toad and still making Toad become playable. Why are you not doing this game too? I don't know why. I mean, at least making both Toad and Donkey Kong become playable, I kind of be much happier. I mean, making this game a bit more, you know, um, excited and kind of like maybe getting a better, um, you know, will. But sadly, um, I don't know why they decide to go for, on for only, um, yeah, only eight playable and yeah, I mean, kind of general for seven that really iconic, but still. Toad Donkey Kong started to get iconic too, and Donkey Kong kind of like iconic in the, you know, kind of like only 1 to 4, but he actually returned to 10, I mean, hello, why did they actually cut Toad and Donkey Kong to be playable? Here we go guys, we are coming back, the last mini game. even though I know they actually have a bad start on, you know, the, the, the two part that actually dead, but I find it dead. Now, it's time for the final battle, here is the final mini game we are going to play. Yes. Um, yeah, I kind of like mentioned I really have good reason about it because we're gonna go straight to credit anyway and this is actually my walkthrough and I don't really want to actually accidentally enter the credit um, not on the non-final part. I kind of want to show and being badass and try to get, you know, the final part. Here's the credit. Yeah, that's another thing. Of the, you know, walkthrough and West player should have, you know, thought about, I guess. <laughs> 
I mean, even though it's not really blind because um, I indeed um, one percent the game before I doing this. But anywho, let's go. The last game is free to take all, and I'm gonna win. Here we go, fly a battle against Bowser. Of course, we're going to actually pick some of the final battle mini game and decide to do Mario Party 4. And in case you guys know the original one, until probably later, they actually include Koopa Kid. But because Koopa Kid doesn't appear, probably they um, got um, no longer known after Mario Party 7. And I kind of say now, I'm happy to see Bowser Jr. here, but... I guess they choose this mini game just an excuse to have Buster Jr. in the game. I mean, I'm sorry, if Buster Jr. got to get in mini game this game. Why not actually include his mini game from Mario Party 9 10? I mean, um, that could be a good replacement for Donkey Kong to become the you know an opponent and make him become playable instead. I don't know why. Yeah, I don't know why they actually did this just to make Buster Jr. in the game and since he has in in Mario Party 9 10, why kind of like. Make him why we not facing him instead. I don't know why, really. Oh well, I kind of like before we getting started. Yeah, it's high as well. Um, yeah, I kind of wish Tony Donkey Kong actually playing with this game. Seriously, but anyway, let's go. And like the original, um, you know, original, um, version. This also have four section. I mean, I would say five section. First of all, we kind of kind of have some the platform one. But the difference is. Instead we actually got 10 tries or 10 hit, we the game actually reduced to 4, I mean 7. And another thing about um, the original one is, if you actually fell into lava, it's instant kill. But in the um, but in this version, if, even if you actually fell in lava, you still could go on. I don't know how to guy before, but I won't, I don't want to risk myself. So I'm gonna try to actually beat it really well. And also, mu music is still good. I kinda like the music too, you know? I mean, can we help? Wow, really? Come on, man. I support not to get hit on first try, come on, really. Alright, here we go. So yeah, this is like the um the original one, we're gonna go to the puzzle version. But they get easier because we have only one Bowser Jr. I like the um the original one. The original one they actually include two Koopa Kid and I believe um they kinda like drop something else instead and also in case of win attack. So yeah, I know they actually make it easier or make it faster, but oh well. In, instead, we're not gonna have Koopa Kid fade here. We have Buster Jr. instead. I'm fine with it, yeah. Here we go. So, Buster Jr. is taking off. It's kind of stupid though that this is the only game, mini game that Buster Jr. make an appearance. Like, seriously. If you kind of want Buster Jr. in this game, please have like in, reintroduce the. Um, yeah, so here's the here's thing for this area you can actually go to two part. I think I'm gonna try to go to the right one. Even though I could actually jump better, but oh well. It's alright. You know what? Since I actually lose one thing, we're gonna show you guys that in this version. Yep, apparently Tons of Lava is not instant kill. In the original one, yeah, it can be annoying for an um, original one that if you actually hit the lava, yep, that's it. Also, it also kinda look almost the same for you know how the attack look like. He actually going to Doing the five boomerangs, I have to dodge this one. I like, I guess he just make an appearance instead. <laughs> I mean, I know in the original one that he just kind of like breathe for that, but anyway. And I think it's kind of easier, I guess. I'm not really sure if you kind of like. Come on, man! It's just somebody hit, really. Here we go. And here's the thing. I believe the original one. This is gonna be one of the hardest part in that final boss mini game. So just like the, the original one, in order to actually beat Bowser. Um, you have to grind pound into three um, three switch to create a triangle, and just kind of like make sure Bowser in, in in the area. But here's the here's the thing for um this version, the camera actually sh um kind of like drive um you know shank to where you're moving, unlike the the original one. Don't you want the camera to steer stay still? And it could be annoying because Bowser can actually just um have a surprise attack on you, and you can get easily screwed up. That's not only kind of like um you know. I mean, I kind of, I kind of like, I just said I really know much about the Mario Party 4 mini game because I actually um, watched a lot before, so yeah, I kind of know how it works. And yeah, I mean, kind of makes it easier this version, I kind of fine with it. Oh, and now one thing I want to show you guys. Even though you actually, um, you make Bowser into that triangle area, uh, because I already have a damage already, I want to show you guys anyway. So here's the thing. If you in the area, I'll, sh I'll demonstrate right away. Yep, you also get damage too, so you have to be careful. And you actually stun a little bit. 
But since this was kind of easier and since I actually played a long time before I actually played this one before, let's finish this. And yeah, there's actually two, um, two ways you can actually create the triangle. One of them is actually just like three almost um, near before, but this one... And yeah, we did it. Yeah, I mean, I kind of showed you guys before that I had like the two ways to create triangle. Which one of them is actually easier and faster, but it kind of like hard to actually make Bowser in the area. And the other one, taking time but have the more area and have Bowser's, um, you know, in, in the area easier. Anyway, we win. And we get all those mini stars. We unlock the master difficulty in this game. Yeah. You want to actually be, um, fade more harder and harder? Yeah, good luck because some of the game you need to actually get what first place. And yeah, you remember that hand? Yeah, you know. The main game keeps screwing me over until I finally did it. Yeah, I know. Also, another thing about um, you guys didn't notice on how the remake and the original one, I mean the remastered version and the original version kind of different. Here's the thing. The hitbox in the original version, they kind of bit abysmal and you can't, I mean, Bowser kind of like move it faster. And yeah, I can see someone kind of have struggle playing it before. I know I'll try Mario Party 4, the original one, but me I'll try sometime later. Yeah, the, the, the remastered version, they kind of make it easier. I, and I'm fine with it. Kind of like, thank god about they indeed, um, you know, Fong Lava was an instant kill. That's kind of suck if it kind of like happened again. But, to make it with Challenger, I know they kind of make it easier, but they also make it harder by you can only hit seven times. Unlike the, um, yeah, the, the original one, you can actually hit ten times. Yeah, I mean, you kind of like have ten hit points, something like that. Anywho, we did it. Yeah. Finally did it, guys. Huh, I say this for you, you keep it interesting. Gah! Come back sometime for a rematch, I'll be ready for what you then. And apparently boss is happy, I'll be actually beat his butt. Weird. All right, you reached the goal. Congratulations. You're welcome to play anytime. Here we are. We did it, guys. We cleared the mini game island, and that is all for Mario Party: The Top 100 Walkthrough. And afterward, we actually go to the credit. And I would say I love the music in the trade. The music is really good, even though kind of like new one they appear. And I love how the bottom screen they actually, um, you know, kind of like see the minigame they play and you know have some character interaction. Really cool. Okay, now talk thought about the game. When I really first noticed that they actually gonna do remastering some minigame in the older console Mario Party game, I was really hyped. I'm so hyped that. Um, they gonna I finally gonna have another chance for playing you know Mario Party game mini game that I never actually play in any version before. I'm so happy. I mean it's really good. I like it. Even though I kind of have some, a lot of compar um, comparison in the um, to the original one, I kind of say that they still nail it. I mean some of them they kind of make it a bit more interesting, but it doesn't that much. And even though I first thought um you know I know the um you know the playable character. I kind of like, I know, it's a bit disappointing, only 8 character is, and I kind of say they're not including Toad and Donkey Kong because, um, one, there actually is a minigame involving Toad and of course Donkey Kong minigame, that's kind of like making, um, you know, they not become playable. But I kind of mentioned before, you can actually make them playable by one, just some minigame that you actually face Toad, and you know, the Toad you actually gonna play minigame, and I have a different one for the one you playable. It worked, yes, I think it worked. And also, Spear Bond Donkey Kong replaced it with Buster Jr. Minigame mini in Mario Party 910 because, yeah, I kind of see Donkey Kong as quite a corny Mario Party game. Even though he's not really playable in like 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, he's still quite a corny. I don't like it. Um, yeah, something like that. And yeah, the, the minigame match is quite fun too, but if they kind of like. At a, like you know, more board would be better. I don't know why it's just kind of like a thing that I feel that this game could do much more. But I kind of say that um how the gap between the announcement and, and the releasing date is so short. I kind of understand about that they kind of get a bit rushed and then yeah, they kind of like doesn't really have much to offer unfortunately. But at least I say this game is quite fun and you know you kind of want to you know reminisce how the more party game used to be. It's good game, yeah. yeah. And once again, um, the game say thank you me for playing, which I'm so happy that I have a chance to play this game, this walk to the game, which is really cool. And here's the credit, guys. So after we actually clear the credit, 
Um, go back and if you actually get all the unlockable, you guys can actually get a nice ribbon here. Yo, really nice ribbon. But not only that, after you actually beat the first time on the minigame island, if you actually play again, you can play hard mode. And I would say right now, I may gonna play that later, but as I mentioned, this is the final part. I would say hard mode is not kidding around. The thing is, I would say right now, hard mode, you have to get first play to actually to to actually proceed. Yep, first place or you lose a life. I would say now, first attempt on my way for save file, sound of me game is so fucking big small. I would say now bossy big blast is gonna be pain about to actually clear it. But here's the thing, for hard um you play hard mode, avoid the the luck based mini game at all costs. If you actually have optional you can play, uh, try to avoid it. Do not associate any luck based mini game unless you want to be badass. Which um not recommending, just saying. So since I actually got the new um difficulty and master um you know hard mode on the game island, yeah. sorry. I may come back and play this game later. But I would say now I'm not gonna come back soon because I want to play some game first and also just a, a normal party DS mini game. I mean, not Mario Party 2 um, DS mini game, but Mario Party in 3DS um, game that I kind of want to walk through with. I kind of like have a ready to do, but maybe I'll start a bit later after this one, probably in about a month. Yeah. And after maybe i done this, I may come back with this game again. But this time I'm gonna tackling on the master difficulty on the mini one or mini game. One, two, definitely mini game match in Star Wars Fantasy Battle and the Catalan. And after I actually show everything of this, we will try, I will try to tackle me game on hard mode. I will try to tackle on hard mode, I, I say right now, I'm gonna try to beat it. Even though it can be a pain in the butt, but I kinda want to try to beat it and see what um, happens actually beat it. Even though um, you guys already know and maybe not worried to play, but I will try, okay, I will try. Also, I'm gonna actually beat, um, you know, the minigame island. You cannot we suck it time you want. Really, really cool. Yeah, I know, right? Also, yeah, we got this music. Yeah, this is the credits music, which is really nice. I mean, I kind of know this this one or kind of like the um, you know, instrumental version of this. But this one's still my, my favorite anyway. I love music so much. It's so cool. I like it. You know. It's catchy, I kinda love they, you know, you know kinda like this game kinda could actually work more, but the soundtrack is the best. I would say now I love the soundtrack so much. Just saying. Yeah. And yep, there's three music that actually appear in quote unquote the Um, you know, the final battle minigame, yep, and you know the final boss minigame, they actually remastered for Mario Party 4. I kinda surprised they're doing this. I kinda like maybe would be more make saying they try to do one Mario Party 7. Um, final boss game. I kind of think that could be a bit abysmal, but at least I could actually um, try make it a bit better by at least um, not one hit KO some stuff. I mean, yeah, something like that. But anyway, so yeah, here's the thing, and ooh, we actually got all the music, which is really cool. Yeah. All right, we have a little uh, time coming along. Let's actually listen to music before we end this video. This one first. Oh man, I mean, play Mario Party 2 when you listen to music is always give me a good bump. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, it's so good they actually master this music, which is really nice. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I love this part so good. Yeah, I mean, it's so good that you can I'm probably gonna listen to this anyway because I think I was quite a quite a bit time consuming mini game. Yeah, I just saying. But soon I'm gonna want to listen a little bit. What is one? Okay, this is maybe a strange case because I didn't realize they're actually making the really, um, you know, kind of um, loop version of this mini game. I mean, yeah, the music goes on quite like, yep, a lot of not so much favorite mini game for my Party 3. <laughs> I know, just saying. Okay, this one's super cool too, I like it. You know, really cool. But I don't think I'm actually gonna go and do every single song. I kinda guess I'm gonna wrap this part up here and wrap this walkthrough up. 
I don't really know that, um, you know, um, I'm going to do the, you know, Master Default, yeah, medium Island Hard Mode sometime later, but we're not gonna do it yet, that's another thing. I want to try to get some game first, and then I may come back later, just saying. Not know when, but, you know, just don't miss, and wow, you do like actually all the Mario Plus 7 music, not even lying. I you know. <laughs> Yeah, it's one of my favorite Mario's um, theme song, you know? Doot, 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 doot. Love this so much. Alright, I think I'm going to end this music, I guess. Dun 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 no. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I don't know for that. I don't know if it's actually remixed or not, but I still love it to that. Yeah. Okay, as I kinda like mentioned this game, um it's really good. I mean I kinda like maybe it's kinda of like nice, um, you know, kinda of like throwback for you know remaster game. I know that I kinda of guess that you know um really want to remaster a lot of older games. I mean they run away or not, but I think remaster is kinda of nice too. I think they kinda of don't have it um, you know. Getting a bit carried away, I guess, but still, still work for me. Also, yeah, as I mentioned before, I really wish that they had more playable character. I mean, just that to Donkey Kong would still have hurt, and also maybe replace Donkey Kong minigame for Mario Party 7 to Buster Jr. minigame in Mario Party 9 or 10. As I mentioned before, that could make it better, but yeah. I guess I'll wrap this um, walkthrough up here. I really have a great time, even though this kind of be a bit quick walkthrough, I will play, but it's not like great for shame for like doing some walkthroughs a bit fast. <laughs> Okay there everybody, this is going to be all for my more Party the Top 100 walkthrough. We're going to see you guys in all the other games and maybe we'll come back to this game later. I mean not now, but later. But anywho guys, I'm going to wrap this part up here and yeah, thank you all for, you know, enjoying this game. I kind of see that a lot of you guys actually love this game too, I mean, yeah, making me really happy that, you know, this game kind of like have a lot of attention. <laughs> Okay there buddy, I'm gonna wrap this part up here and wrap this walkthrough too. And I kinda guess we're gonna see you guys all in my next walkthrough or you know the still current walkthrough that I still gonna try to finish off. Yeah. Anyway, this is Mrs. Kitty Hoon and I'm going to sign off right here. So see you guys in my future video then. See y'all guys. <laughs>